which one deserves the number one spot? Hey, what's going on, you guys? Mr. Money One Two Three Five here yet again, here with a little question for you guys: Which album is better, Sgt. Pepper's or Pet Sounds? Both albums created a really a type of cultural phenomenon, I should say, and are still remembered to this day, and both regarded as the two greatest albums of all time, uh, according to numerous magazine journals and stuff like that. But there's some people in this world who think the order should be switched, that Pet Sounds should actually be the best album of all time with Sgt. Pepper in the number two spot. This is a really curious argument to me, and one that I find really fascinating. Both albums do contain that multi-instrumentation, that kind of, uh, that set them apart, kind of made them more psychedelic. They kind of left their roots behind to create something brand new. Both of these albums did exactly the same things, really. One of the main differences that I see in these albums, though, kind of goes into the lyrics, where the Beatles went way more into a psychedelic route, using more uh, psychedelic-infused type lyrics, like in Being for the Benefit of Mr. Kite, uh, songs that were kind of more spacey. I feel like the Beach Boys still kind of created songs that sounded more like the general like songwriting style like there's a whole lot of songs in here about you know being with your girlfriend uh you know songs like that i feel like the beach boys didn't really change as much lyrically as the beatles did on sergeant peppers another thing i have to say is that i still find sergeant peppers to be the better album sergeant peppers also includes a little bit more variety i feel like than pet sounds does uh the song when i'm 64 for example on Sgt. Pepper's, there's nothing really that sounds like that going on in Pet Sounds. To me, anyway. I know this sounds like I'm just kind of fanboying here, and just kind of agreeing with the general populace, but I mean, everybody has their own opinions, and this is just what I think after listening to both of these albums multiple times. Some of my favorite songs of Pet Sounds are Wouldn't It Be Nice, obviously, That's Not Me, Don't Talk, Sloop John B, God Only Knows, Pet Sounds and Caroline, no, those songs kind of round out my favorites on the album. While on Sgt. Pepper's, for example, I can't really pick out any favorites. This album just feels so cohesive to me that I have to listen to it the whole way through. So while both albums are really, really kind of thematic and really, really artistic albums in and themselves, I still think Sgt. Pepper's wins out over Pet Sounds. I simply just enjoy the variety that Sgt. Pepper's has over the same type of sounds that Pet Sounds seems to have throughout the entire album. But I do find them both to be perfect albums and well worth your time if you haven't heard either one of them. Which if you're still a subscriber and you've been watching me, I hope you have by now. So let's get a discussion going here. Tell me down there below in the comments, what do you think sets these albums apart? What do you think sounds similar about them? Which one do you think is better? And tell me personally why you think that. Um, I'd really love to hear it. You know what I think. Opinions, opinions, opinions. Mr. Money 1235 I'll see you guys later.